Have you got these types of Mercedes keys? These actually work in two ways. Somebody contacted me on my channel called Safras Rafiq and he was saying that he's having a bit of difficulty in lowering his Mercedes SL roof down. I did a video on how you can actually use your key fob to lower it from outside the car. So I thought I'd cover it and show you how you can actually test your key fob to see if the infrared signal is working. Now we can't actually see infrared because we can't detect it from the wave frequency from our own eyes as a human being. But the camera can because it sees things differently. So all you do is just press the button and on the end of it there is your infrared light. And that LED you can see is flashing if I shine it into the lens there. So now you know your infrared on your remote control is sending the signal out. What I would then do is check the little door handle and there's a little tiny window which is your infrared receiver. You may find that that receiver is actually not working properly. I do diagnostic videos using iCarsoft and it will pick that up. It will show you if there's an issue with the infrared sensor if you go into that specific menu for your Mercedes that you have. The way that this works with sending the signal to the car when you unlock it is done by a radio waves and that's why we can unlock it from a distance and on the front of the key when you press the unlock button there's an LED that flashes and if it flashes nice and bright and strong that's a good indication that your battery is healthy if it's a bit weak and there's a bit of a delay for the LED to come on it's probably a good time to change it okay so grab your remote and take the key out you just pull this little lead back and take the key out like that now in here this is the knack you want to push there's a little grey lever in that way. So I normally use the end of the key, hold it in one hand and give it a push like that. A bit tricky, but you can do it. Now get your nail and pull up. And you can pull out the batteries. Really recommend using branded batteries on your remote. If you put a multimeter on the battery for your key and it gives you your 1.5 volts, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting a good strong battery current to the key fob. So get good ones, um, not affiliated with Duracell, but get a decent brand because sometimes the current isn't strong enough despite reading the right amount of voltage. Here you can see that the plus is facing upwards and there is the Duracell batteries brand new. Fitment is just in reverse. there. So I hope you found that useful. I like to try and help people out, give free advice where I can. I've got a lot of experience with Mercedes and I do diagnostic videos as well as a whole load of other car related stuff as well. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time. And if you chose to subscribe, you're a genius.